the respective regions. Uh, ESIF, that is the project that is run by APNIC in uh, Asia and Pacific. FIRE, that is the project run by AFRINIC in Africa. And uh, FRIDA, that is the project run by LACNIC in Latin America and the Caribbean. Every year, a uh, thousand of people is involved in preparing projects and presenting projects to different uh, uh, to the for uh, competing for the grants, small grants, but also for the awards that are presented by each uh, project in the in the regions, and also for the opportunities of scaling the projects. And so it's uh, the the. Um, the achievement of the of the of the project of the, of the Seed Alliance project is not only to the the results of the project that are, that are directly supported by the program, but also the the creation of the community uh, that the community that is created ar around the program, uh, composed by all the people that uh, every year is preparing uh, their projects to be to present uh, to to the program. And we try to help them, to uh, work with them, trying to, to, when we identify good initiatives, try to help them to, uh, to uh, improve their projects. And also we had a, a conversation a few minutes ago when uh, we found some opportunities of putting some people that is uh, running projects in contact with other people, uh, with uh, other projects, but also with people from governments and from other initiatives saying, okay, this is what you are doing is, uh, I'm sure it is interesting for uh, a given country or a given organization. Okay, this is the introduction that, um, that I was supposed to, to make. I uh, hope oh, the photographer is. Okay. So I can't stop speaking. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now it's done. Uh, so, um, I, I forgot to introduce myself. Uh, I'm Raúl Echeverría. I'm the CEO of LACNIC, one of the organizations that participate in the Seed Alliance project. Those projects are also, I say, that the Seed Alliance is uh, supported by Seda uh, from uh, Sweden and IDRC from Canada, and also the projects, the FIRE and, and uh, ISIF and uh, Frida have the support of the Internet Society. So, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you, Raoul. So then we would give the floor to um, the awardees to, to tell us what um, the award they, ha they, uh, they have been uh, rewarded with represent for them and what are the challenges um, they are um, going to, um, to uh, face and um, achieve. So let's start first with you. <laughs> Quickly, okay. just you know, in one minute, tell us what the award is for you. Okay. Uh, yeah, actually, the award is uh, really a great uh, achievement for uh, uh, me and my team and our organization. Um, our uh, sh uh, should I give also some introduction of the yes, project? Okay, yeah. Uh, our project is uh, basically designing mobile tools for documenting, uh, curating, uh, and collecting the indigenous botanical knowledge uh, with uh, indigenous community of uh, Penan indigenous community of Malaysia, which was previously nomad, but now they are settled. They have an internet access with a solar powered telecenter, uh, and they don't have any other source of income, but with this, type of activities and internet, they are now uh, moving towards uh, opening their community for ecotourism and the other uh, economic opportunities. Thank you. Thank you. So I uh, forgot to ask you before um, speaking, can you present yourself and uh, the project, your project quickly? Thank you, Patricia. I'm uh, Farel Foley from uh, Benin, West Africa. The name of my project is IFAMACINET. IFAMACINET uh, is a system that allows uh, anybody to find the nearest pharmacy within its area and to order, uh, buy, pay online, and be delivered at home. The FIRE program uh, been our us, and uh, I'm happy to tell the FIRE that uh, it's a more than a recognition of all the effort my team and I have achieved in order to implement the project and forward, we will try to improve our project to tell the fire that they are right 
in trusting us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, let's go to um, Frida's awardees. Um, Uh, this is uh, Dr. Mashi Rahman. Uh, my project is uh, Shikkok.com. Uh, this is a uh, education uh, material platform. We provide the uh, in the native language Bengali, so the remote area people or the rural pe students, particularly kids and uh, kids and uh, girls, those who cannot afford to go to the tutorial. Uh, schools or supporting uh, schools uh, because e usually the rich people's kids going those uh, schools. So we are trying to give access to the education material to the poor people as well. And people often dis uh, tell about the digital divide. It is not digital divide. It is poor and rich divide. So we have to minimize that. So uh, we are addressing the education and uh, try to uh, provide the education material to the uh, to the remote right now our next challenge is how we can bring this online material to the offline so I look forward for uh, for the uh, partnership or or the any kind of project that like to uh, how we can co how we can work together to bring this uh, online material uh, that is in local language to the uh, offline to the print or something else. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, you're welcome. Let me. So you are uh, Isif uh, Awardee. Yeah. So now we're going to the uh, Frida Awardee. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Laura uh, from Argentina. I, I work to improve the public debate, the quality of public debate in my country. Um, uh, I'm the leader of an organization that called Chequeado.com. The, is the first initiative in fact-checking in Latin America and Caribbean. Um, we obtained the FIDA Prize in the innovation category, and we are looking forward to expand the experience in other countries uh, in the region and in uh, other continents in the south. Um, there's no initiative in Asia that we know about it, but there's only one in Africa that is doing the same that we are doing. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Marta Ortega. I represent an organization in, in Peru. The name is Ongawa. And we work e in a project named Guillai. And the main objective of the project is, using, uh, is to use ICTs for uh, improving the democratic process in the rural areas of Peru. Uh, since 2007, uh, we have um, improved the, the service offered by, by 44 public institutions, including uh, health center, including uh, educational establishment, including municipalities. And we have uh, made possible that 180 uh, civil associations can participate in the, in the um, democratic process in their communities. Thanks to Frida program. Now we are start working on health information system in with the health center that we work before, and we we are in the future. We expect that we can uh, expand our our activities in another areas in always in in the rural part of Peru. Thank you. Hello. Sorry, my, uh, my English is not good, so I'm going to read. Uh, my name is Anai. I'm from Ar Argentina. Uh, I am a member of um, NGO Canales. Uh, Video Books is a, web, is a website in Argentina uh, sign, sign language uh, that has two online books collections to facilitate the free access to the deaf girls and boys. Thanks uh, to the FRIDA programs, we are now new um, uh, develop, developing, developing a new collection special, special for young people. In the future, uh, we expect to create a full uh, stock library uh, of books read in Argentina sign language. 
uh, that equalize opportunities uh, to deaf girls and boys and put them uh, aside from the situation uh, of exclusion in which they are. And for doing uh, that uh, with support. Our, our, dreams, uh, our, our dreams is that more children discover and, and, and show the place of literature. Uh, thank you very much. Uh. Hi, my name is Juan Camilo. I represent SIATA. I'm from Colombia. We were winners of the Frida Award in the development category. SIATA is a project of Medellin municipality, the Abura Valley Regions Area Metropolitana, EPM and its hand as contributors. And our main objective is to timely alert governing agencies and community about environmental or climate-related events, such as flash floods or landslides, that threaten human lives, houses, and life quality, by monitoring, modeling, and communicating the data about those variables in the rural Valley region in Medellin, Colombia. What a unique and pioneer project in our region, based on the use of integration and scale of scalable information technologies, generating scientific information for the people. I want to thank Frida for the opportunity of being here, uh, for the opportunity of having so many people watching what our project is about. Thank you. Hello, <coughs> my name is Jonathan Weinstein. I am from Argentina. I belong to the ElectroSmart team, and I come here representing them. ElectroSmart is a little portable and inexpensive electrocardiograph device that pretends to bring medical care for poor people and for people who live far away from the large urban centers. The, there are right now a lot of people in my country and in many developing countries that doesn't have uh, the possibility of monitoring their health. We believe that there, are, there exists enough technology to solve this problem and also that it's very necessary to democratize the access to the health. Uh, thanks to Frida Price, we almost finished the, our product, and now we need more support and help for our product to reach as many people as possible. Thanks, Frida, for the opportunity to be here. Hi, I'm Hari Suryadi. Our project is to give access to indigenous people using not a smartphone but a dumb phone because it's difficult to get the signal in remote area in West Kalimantan. So we train them. We have been trained now until now. It's been more than two years. We train around 300 uh, indigenous peoples and they're sending news through SMS. Using front end SMS, we blast the information, the SMS news, to now there are 600 subscribers, including around 200 numbers of uh, local, uh, indigen uh, local government uh, staffs, including police, parliament members, local parliament members. And uh, there are some social changes. The program managed to help the indigenous people resolve the conflict between them and, for example, the oil palm plantations. Thank you. Thank you, Harry. Um, let's um, give the floor to Ms. Renai Tuso from FIRE. Hello, everyone. My name is Raina Tu, and uh, I'm the founder of Make a Run Count. Um, first of all, it's a pleasure to be here. I would like to thank uh, Fire and Patricia and everyone who have organized this event for us. Um, my uh, project uh, work on uh, empowering women in Africa through the use of uh, information, through the use of internet and social media. So we basically uh, try to train women how to use internet, but also how to access those information, which is really critical for them in order to uh, employ themselves. And uh, it's a pleasure to uh, receive the award uh, from FIRE, from Afrinic. And uh, 
Yeah, the challenge ahead is that as everyone in this room is accessing funding to keep on going with the project we have already started, which is a lot more harder than you know um, anything else. But we're hoping that we already received this prize and uh, there's a lot of challenges ahead, but we will overcome those ones as well. So thank you. Bye. Thank you, Renatou. So Bernard, our last uh, fire awardee. Good afternoon, my name is Bernard. I run a company called Nikohapa. Nikohapa means I'm here in Swahili. Uh, but the way Nikohapa started, it, um, I come from Kenya but, uh, and I'm a fire awardee. Um, I'm very thankful for the recognition because we worked very, very hard at it. And uh, at the time you work hard, you don't get recognized. And now you worked hard and you got recognized, so we are really, really grateful. How Nico Harper started, a friend of mine, my co-founder, went to a cafe. Uh, he really loved this cafe. Uh, so, he, uh, But then he went there. The next time he found that it had been turned into a Chinese uh, restaurant. So imagine you are going to drink coffee, then you find noodles or noodle soup. So uh, um, uh, it's the, the owner of the business just changed the business overnight because he wasn't making a lot of money. It was a bakery before. He wasn't making a lot of money because of that. He thought that people didn't want uh, people didn't want coffee, but the problem was the employees were not really um, they were not really active. They were not really giving their best at it. So he, we we thought of he thought of how do you get feedback from the customer directly to the owner because the owner of the shop is not there every day. So while we are talking about it. Uh, that's how we started. Then we said, okay, why don't we uh, be able to send an SMS to the owner of the, of, the, of, of the shop? And basically, that's how it started. And then we started putting incentives for uh, customers to provide that feedback. What if you give that feedback 10 times, you get a free coffee? Uh, so basically, it's, an, it's a system where someone can go in, the owner of a business can go and be able to put in a reward after a number of times and be able to keep track of how many times the customer is there and be able to give feedback. So this is a very long pitch. You didn't, you didn't, give, you didn't limit my time. <laughs> oh, one minute. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get that. But anyway, that's how we, so it's a, it's a, it's a customer engagement business. How the, the business, get, uh, we help the customer to engage with the business. Uh, with the recognition, we are really grateful, but uh, we have realized that there are some uh, areas, domains in businesses that it works very well, especially in the transport industry, and uh, in different industries. So that's where we are focusing our efforts, and we believe that we are going to make a really, really strong impact in those sectors. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Bernard. So now I'm giving the floor to uh, the ISIF uh, awardees. So don't forget to present yourself. <laughs> okay, good afternoon, everybody. I am Mohammad Abdurrazzaq, now representing here a project, Design and Development of Precision Agriculture Information System in Bangladesh. I am from University of Dhaka, Bangladesh. Okay, as you know, the application of appropriate amount of fertilizer and the irrigation is very much important for higher crop production. And also, it's helpful for protecting the environment. And we are addressing this problem by designing a sensor systems and communication systems that can collect uh, the soil macronutrient measurements from the crop field and can send to the server system so that after processing from the server system we can send uh, the recommendations and the actions need to be taken by the farmers so that the crop production can be increased. Uh, for uh, final uh, or the complete uh, production of this uh, system, we need to work hard. And I am again thanking uh, the Seed Alliance, particularly the ISIF uh, Asia uh, Award 2013 committee for bringing this opportunity. And thank you all meeting here uh, uh, for this recognition that has been made by the ISIF 2003. Thank you. Uh, hello, 
Hello, I'm Sadika. Uh, my project name is called Amar Desh Amar Gram. In English, it's called My Country, My Village. Uh, well, uh, this is the first kind of project in our country. Uh, in fact, we can claim to the world there is Amazon.com, there is eBay.com. But my platform, Amar Desh Amar Gram, is different. Actually, it is connecting the rural producers of the village, like women especially, or the farmers, or the fishermen, to sell their products directly, and we don't have any warehouse. Whenever a consumer orders, the products are being taken from the farmers, and they're the one who is managing the whole thing. So we are creating particularly e-centers in the rural villages, and those e-centers are run by the local youth of the community. We give them training, we give them internet access, we give them computer, logistics, and the center is being uh, given to them. They're the one, the local youths are the one who's driving the centers and serving these local producers to sell online on their own price. So the consumer can buy directly, getting, uh, uh, giving them the fair price. On the other hand, an unemployment rate for the youth of our country is being served. As we are more than 150 million people in our country, 80 persons are in the rural areas. So internet access is not available for them. E-commerce is a fancy thing for them. So we wanted to do e-commerce for rural uh, development, rural trading, and still now we have done seven centers with our own fund, and we have around 5,500 entrepreneurs, 800 plus youths are being trained in e-commerce, not only e-commerce in terms of technology, how to use computers, computer trainings, everything, and they are giving training to the local community. So if we can cover 64 countries, uh, 64 uh, districts in our country, 64 centers, we can actually serve a lot of people who are in the 80 persons. So we are trying to not create a technology divide, by, but we want to break this divide and take technology to the mass level of people. So in future, we can trade to the world with our own products. And we want to make Bangladesh to be a successful, a developed world with our own products. Thank you so much. Then we have the last uh, Frida winner with us. Thank you. My name is Anaí Menéndez from Argentina. My project is botalobotalo.com, winner in category more voted and more creative. I believe that democracy is the best form of government organization and that it still has a lot to improve. We also believe it has it has to have ever more participatory, participatory, transparent and democratic forums. This is our Botalo Botalo mainstays, online participation, access to public information and democratic values. I have feared that this project and other innovative projects Está en a private initiative and individualism. We need collaboration the multi stakeholders to make the project sustainable over and over time and also to make it a tool for transmutation transformation and improvement of the world. For finish, thank you for listening to me. Okay, thank you very much. I think we're done with uh, the presentation of um, uh, your projects. Um, I think we can give the floor to um, questions. Any of you um, would like to ask um, a question in relation to the projects that you have been presented with? Okay, Bruce. Hello, good afternoon. I'm Bruce Bakey from Invineo. And I would like to hear from a couple of the awardees on what they see their challenges are now as the next step to grow their project. So maybe the gentleman from Benin can start. Um, if I understand your question, you are asking about the next step in our project. That's it, the point. 
Okay, actually, we have a bigger project, but we are trying to make it uh, small pieces and work uh, iteratively. The first solution is e pharmacy net, as I des described, but the next one is e hospital. E hospital will allow anybody to make an appointment with a doctor before leaving the, the house and uh, check in in the area, the closest hospital, which specialist is available, and uh, can I go there, can I pay, can I request a, a specialist in cardiology now? Imagine that you are, we are sitting here and somebody had a heart attack, but we know that in our system we have 100 doctors that are working and they are connected like in WhatsApp, Facebook, or whatever. So you can know the, mo the closest one and sending him an invitation and say, okay, we had somebody with a heart attack here. Can you just please come? And this transition will be recorded. You can use mobile money on your phone to pay the, all the, the care that will be given to you, and the system keep uh, going and keep tracing every transaction. That's the, the point. We have uh, two net solutions, but uh, we need sponsor investors, so that's why we are trying to work step by step. We are just working as a research team. We have a partner from uh, Germany, uh, the Institute of Bonn in Pharmacy, that is helping us to, to work. Thank you very much. Thank you, Farrell. Um, Nora, can you please answer to, to his question? My stay sitting is okay. <laughs> I'm better sitting. Uh, the next step for us is to first to make uh, Tequiado more popular and more used by society, and by next generation of young people, to make citizens more um, interest about data and open data and about the quality of data. Uh, at least in Argentina, uh, we are all the same people caring about this subject, uh, but most of the people in the society are not care about it. And what we are trying to do in Tequiado, and that's why our video is with a song and, and looking to, to pay, to, 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 acercarse. To, to approach uh, n not only decision makers or people in academics, but every citizen in society, we are we are trying to do. To the first the first thing is to pay them attention about data, and be more alert. And the second one is uh, to try to make uh, knowledge more collaborative and more immediate in the, the moment that the leaders uh, make statements in the public debate. Thank you, Laura. Let me ask to our, um, the last person, Tarek. Would you give us your, your point on your next step? Uh, yes, uh, actually ours one is uh, really on the intellectual property. The community has this uh, all type of traditional knowledge, medicinal knowledge. They have the, they have already cop means they have the, got the copyright of this because they have documented it. But how to go uh, beyond that when they can get the intellectual property and there will be the state laws involved, the intelle uh, intellectual, intellectual property laws, international will be, uh, uh, will be involved. Other than that, how uh, this uh, traditional botanical knowledge database can be linked with the international organization like WIPO uh, or the Indian Traditional Digital Library with this type of organization. We are already talking with the Indian counterpart on that, but still waiting for uh, just before in a session with the IFLA, they have some sort of an initiative on that. We are also talking that. Thank you. Thank you, Tarek. So da does anybody else have uh, uh, more question? Another question? No? Okay. So f thank you very much for 
uh, having participated. And um, just wanted to let you know that we have brochures um, at the front to um, give you more information about the SID Alliance and the three programs which are part of uh, the Alliance. Thank you very much. And um, good afternoon. Enjoy your afternoon.